Hello, welcome back to my channel, Button and Pip. I'm Adele. My channel's all about my dressmaking journey, so have a look back at my previous vlogs and enjoy. So today is a makes vlog and I've got quite a few interesting things to share with you. And I'm just going to jump straight in. Um, can you tell what I've got on? Um, this is the Friday Pattern Company Heather Blazer. And I've only recently bought this pattern and it jumped straight up to the top of uh, my to make list. And I didn't wait around, but I had a vision in mind and I think the vision has 100% paid off. So let me get up, move around and then I'll talk all about it. But look how gorgeous it is. So I wear a blazer every day at work um, and I'm really loving blazers actually. It's a, a quick sort of overcoat that's not too warm and it's just nice just to, to put on and it smartens up an outfit. Um, and I have been looking at the Heather blazer for a while but I was a little bit unsure about the oversized look. I quite like my blazers as tailored. Um, and then my friend Vicky uh, from So Little Sparrow, she made the Heather blazer in a beautiful sort of a dusky purple lilac linen and when we went to a show uh, I saw it in real life so I saw it on photos and I thought wow then I saw it in real life and I just fell in love and I knew I wanted to make the heather blazer myself so I found the pattern got the pattern but then I was on the search for the most perfect fabric which I found in Fabric Corner in Lincoln um it's oh I really, I'm just going to stop gushing about it and let's just talk about it, Adele. So, I, I love green, but my friend actually mentioned yesterday, when she when I said to her, oh, I've made a green blazer, she was like, a little bit like, mm, nice. And then when I showed it to her yesterday, she went, Adele, it's not the green that I imagined. It's like a, a greeny grey, a bottle green um, shape, shade, but yeah absolutely love it and then she also compared it to a paul smith jacket because check out that lining so yeah these are both from the fabric corner in lincoln i don't think they have a website but i know um that they do online orders if you see something on their instagram and really like it you can order it and then they'll sort it through that way so i'll put a link down to their instagram page um, and to their website and go and have a look at what delightful fabrics they've got there so let's talk about the heather blazer it's super simple to make so is this like my third or fourth jacket tailored jacket that i've made and I have to say, I was a little bit worried. I was like, oh, is the oversized look going to be right? But I went for a medium based on my measurements. But I also looked at the sort of uh, finished garments and I wanted to see exactly would it fit. And it does have to be loose, okay? There is lots of room in there. Um, but when I looked online at what other people had done, when they're downsized, then it felt too tight on the shoulders. And that's something I definitely didn't want. So I went for the medium. Um, I haven't really made any changes um, or alterations to the pattern. This is just a straight medium. Um, the only differences that I've made is I don't have the button on because I was so proud of it when I finished. I thought I am not going to muck this up now by putting a buttonhole in. I don't think I'm ever going to button it up, so I'm not that bothered. Um, and also, one other thing, I put shoulder pads in this. Um, yeah, I definitely think it just needed that bit of structure there. So I have just put, they're only the prim, um, like, uh, small ones. They're not big shoulder pads. I just ordered them online because I was going to wear this. Well, I did. I wasn't going to, but I did wear this when we went to see Billie Eilish at the O2. So I'll put some photos in. Um, I think it just finished my outfit completely for that evening. And since then, I've been wearing it. I've been wearing it to school. I've been wearing it um, just casually like this with the dress. It is going to be the most perfect summer jacket for me. Absolutely chuffed with it. So if you haven't made the Heather Blazer yet, go on to Instagram check out the heather blazer um hashtag that's what i did and just look at the delights that are there yeah it's absolutely fabulous uh, fabulous right stop gushing about that tail 
I'll go, I'll move on. Right, I've also been doing a bit of crocheting. Now, in my last vlog, I spoke about um, the wonderful cotton yarn that I recently got when I also went to Lincoln. And I did pick up a pattern for a summer top. Now, I got straight on with it. Again, I feel like at the moment, I've got a, when I've got something in mind, that's it, I just get straight on with it. Um, so I was trying that pattern, but I just couldn't get the the open lace work to work i was like why is this not working i'm normally quite good at following a pattern um couldn't make it work so i went a little bit rogue and made the pattern myself so here is my summer cotton sort of boxy top and i love it so let me talk about now i know um this is a dressmaking channel but I do branch out into crochet. If you don't know anything about crochet now, I might be just talking gobbledygook. Um, but it's, do you know what? If you never tried crochet, look, it's amazing that all of that came just from a little hook. I think it's fantastic. So yeah, these are all treble crochets. And then to make this open lace work part here, that's a treble crochet, but then you skip two stitches a treble crochet oh sorry treble crochet and two chains skip two stitches and then move on like that and what I've done is I've got five lines of treble crochet then an open lace work five 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 then I didn't want it to be a boat neck so what I did is I did a little bit of shaping around here so this really was trial and error I was sat here putting it against me going yeah I want it to be around there so this has been a complete look that this worked out. So I made the shoulders, then I repeated on the back, but this time the shoulders were a little bit more raised, so that neckline is a bit further back. Then, when once I'd sewn up the sides, they don't actually have any sleeves on. What they've got is a trim of double crochets, three lines of double crochets around the, la um, the armhole, the neckline and also I just finished the bottom with that as well and it's gorgeous so as soon as I'd finished it I put it on it looks great with my shorts and just a little vest top underneath with it being cotton I'm hoping that it'll be nice and cool during the summer but also give me just that extra layer that sometimes we need don't we in the UK with our summer time sometimes we just need that extra little bit of something on so yeah that's worked out brilliantly and i've actually got oh have I moved, is it down here i think i've got three balls of this yarn left um and i'm not sure what to do i might even make some face wipes with them or some dishcloths with the leftover cotton yarn so i know it works really well for that as well which is a bit gonna be a bit weird one day when i'm washing up and i've got my my matching crochet top on okay that's that's how it works so yeah that also came together really quickly really quickly I think I'm definitely quicker at crochet than knitting so I think I got through that within two weeks yeah two weeks it took me to do that absolutely love it and I've also been branching out a little so I did a big not wardrobe haul, overhaul. I went, basically, I got all my summer stuff out and then I looked at things that I haven't been wearing and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of them because my handmade wardrobe is getting quite large now and sometimes you hold on to things just because you've made them because you just think, well, I bought that fabric, I chose that pattern. Sometimes it just hasn't worked out. So I'm being ruthless and I have got rid of a lot of things. Um, which has also made me think, what do I actually need to sew now? What do I actually need in my wardrobe? And me, may may help me sort that out. That I do need a few more tops, maybe some trousers or separates, definitely separates. Although I'm always going to be a dress fan, always, because um, I definitely want to make another myosotis. But I definitely know I need to make some more separates, which I'm doing as well. But I've also been branching out into a little bit of bag making. So the lovely Lucy from So Pretty, So Mindful, she asked me to be a pattern tester. I don't think I've shown you this one yet, have I? I'm not sure. 
sorry if this is a repeat of what I've done, but this pattern is about to be released on Sewing Street, not this Saturday, or not this weekend, sorry, the weekends after. And this is the Stratford bag. So it's the first time I've really branched out into complicated bag work. And this is her new pattern, which is going to be a beach bag. So she's going to be on Simon Street, not this Sunday, but the Sunday after, I think the 9th. Um, and she's going to be launching two brand new patterns. And this is one of them. So it's the Stratford bag and it's a beach bag. So let me just open it up. Ooh. So it's got a rope. There we go. It's got a rope as the handle. It's got a waterproof bottom. Now I've made a bit of a mistake here with how I did my fold. Do you know what? It's always a learning curve. So I'm not going to be able to undo that because I'll have to take it all out. But I'm just rocking that interesting feature there. And then inside is also lined with waterproof fabric. So it's been brilliant to take uh, to the girls swimming lessons because I can just chuck it all in there. Then I haven't got to worry that when I'm walking on the way home that the swimming costume is going to be leaking through and soaking me. So it is brilliant. And what she does really cleverly, uh, Lucy does, is she builds up skills with each of her patterns. Now this pocket here, so there's a, a zip pocket at the bottom zip pocket all of this is lined as well so there's a zip pocket there then there's a little pocket there which I need to put a popper on but I'm waiting for all my sewing stuff to come back out of storage after the building work is done uh, to do that but then you've also got a huge pocket there which is useful actually to put my book in so I'm reading while the girls are swimming so that's been fantastic but that is also off her other bag the Warwick bag so if you've done the Warwick bag and you've made that pocket it's also the same pocket that goes onto this, which is brilliant. So you've learnt one skill on one bag, bring it onto another, and it just has a different feel to it. Um, this fabric was from um, Craft Cotton Co. They contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try out any of their cottons, and I chose this fabric because, look, it's got beautiful beetles all over it. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be brilliant for summer. And, like I say girls swimming lessons now she's got another pattern coming out um with sewing street as well and it is this which is the kinross case so this is perfect for a, an absolute beginner into bag making so you haven't got to worry about any sort of fancy construction or anything like that it's just a lovely lined device case and it has a uh, lovely detail of patchwork along the front. So Lucy actually sent me this fabric for me to, to make this sample up. Um, it's some cork fabric and I've never sewn with cork and it's so super easy and it's just beautiful. And I know it's quite sustainable, the cork tree is, because you take the bark off and then it just regrows. You don't have to cut down the whole tree. So it's a really great fabric if you're thinking of something a little bit unusual for your bags. But yeah, absolutely love that. And I went for the African wax print because I love African wax print, as you probably know if you've seen my previous vlogs. And it does have a magnetic clasp on the front. So that's going to be brilliant to go on holiday with. Um, I definitely think I could put my Kindle in there, a few other things, and then just put that with me on the uh, sunbed and then it doesn't matter if the girls drop it or anything like that because it's all nice and safe so they're her two new patterns then so on my last vlog i was showing you uh the dovetailed fabric subscription box that i got and this theme uh this time was a yellow theme and i, I thought instantly yellow isn't the color that i would necessarily wear because with my pale skin, it just makes me look really drained. So I thought, right, I'm gonna use this fabric in a different way rather than dressmaking. And um, we're having our kitchen done very, very soon. So I'm going to be doing a second apron. I've already got one African wax print apron. I'm gonna make another one uh, for my husband so he can do some cooking in the new kitchen or maybe the girls might want to wear it. But in the meantime, I have made this bag. So. It's a brilliant bag and let me just talk it through. So I went online to look for a uh, bag pattern 
an online bag pattern and Debbie Shaw does the most fantastic tutorials on her YouTube channel and they're all free. She gives you all the instructions, all the measurements of how to make different bags and this one is her twisted tote bag now she did it in teal and cream and i think she released the pattern within a, a sewing magazine she did it in black and white but i thought well with african wax print you can just really mix up the fabrics and i thought to use the two fabrics from that subscription box to make this beautiful tote bag so it's a twisted can you see the twist let me show you the bottom look so it is a square bottom there and then sort of lines twist up and again the inside has a twist so you actually could you do this as a reversible bag yeah oh i need to maybe sort that out so i could make this reversible all that i've got to do is wear I um, had sort of the lining open to pull the bag through. I've just sewn that. Maybe I might hand stitch that and then I can have it as an inside out bag or reversible bag, inside out bag or reversible bag. I don't know what the right words are, but it's brilliant. And it's a nice size actually. So let me put it on. These handles were from the sewing kit uh, subscription box as well. And I think it's a nice size. It's not a huge bag, but I know Debbie Shaw does talk about the fact that you can change the size of the strips to make a bigger bag or even a smaller bag. So there is a potential if you, I'll put the link to this video down below, but that you could make this into a bigger beach bag. But I quite like this as a small tote bag. And my husband actually took this downtown last week to do the shopping and he said it worked really well. It's just the right height for his shoulder for him to have and to potter around and it was quite funny actually because my other daughter took uh, the green African wax print bag and she had a green coat on actually I'll put the photo on it's funny she had the green bag with the green coat and then he had his yellow raincoat with his yellow bag so he sent me a message saying I can't believe it you've made us matching bags but yeah love that um, I'm getting into a bit of bag making by the looks of it and I'm quite enjoying it and I'm all for it. I'm going to keep going. Um, but yeah, it's been a real mix in recent times. I'm quite enjoying trying my hand at different things. I'm currently making, uh, knitting a, a beautiful lace work shawl. Um, again, it's the first time I've ever tried lace work knitting. Is it going successful? Mm, not so much. But do you know what? You learn from your mistakes and you'll get better every time. But I'm continuing with it. I'm making the most beautiful shawl. So I'll hopefully have that to show uh, you soon. In terms of sewing, I don't think I've got anything particularly... Hmm, I, I'm, I'm going to have to make a few more. Oh my goodness, I've just realised something else that I've made. And I've forgotten about it. Right, you've got to stay there and I'm going to go and get this. Actually... Shall I put it on? Yeah, I'm going to go and put it on. Right, back in one minute. Here I am. So, I was just thinking then, oh, I need to sew some things for holiday. Oh my goodness, I've sewn this for holiday. So, this is the Friday Pattern Company. Now, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this really wrong. I think it's the Seguro uh, set. Um, right, a bit like the Maya Sotis. To begin with, I said, no way. No way am I going to get my midriff out after having two children, two big children. Um, but I've been, I've been kind of stalking it on Instagram and I fell in love and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to have a go. And when you're on holiday, does anyone care that you've got stretch marks? No. So this is the set that I've made. And um, I, I'm, let, me, let me get up and I'll show you and then I'll talk about it. So I have made the shorts version okay this isn't really the official version the official version is long trousers but i don't like the look of the long trousers all the way down i feel they look a bit unflattering around the ankle area so i've made them into a shorts version because i want to wear this on holiday in the blazing sun so the shorts are more me than the trousers and the top so the shorts come up very high and they do cover my bit of mum tum there 
and then the top there isn't much midriff but it's just all my it's just a bit of a cheeky hint which i love and then the top now the top is very low v-neck i've even sewn this up to here it would have gone down further and i am not comfortable with that at all so um that's a permanent change that i'll always make but i love it um i did get quite excited after i made it i went outside and showed my husband it was last friday he was sunbathing and i was like look what i've made and uh, i've got to stop with the whole mm, when a pattern first comes out i need to let patterns sort of to settle with me first before I say yes or no. So I do really like this pattern. I don't think I'll probably be wearing it every day around, but it's definitely something for holiday. I love it for holiday. Oh. But yeah, this fabric was just from Boys. Where were we? We went to Matlock, that's it. We went to Matlock, I love a Boys. If you don't have a Boys near you, you are missing out. Um, I was saying to my husband, um, Boys feels like you, is stepping back in time a little bit it's like an old-fashioned Woolworths but what they what they do works and it's fantastic because they've got fabric at the back all your haberdashery so I got this fabric from there I think it was 5.99 a meter they've got a great array of thick elastic so I could get everything in one place and it's cotton twill so it's going to be nice and cool for when we go on holiday to Mallorca where it's going to be hot um but yeah how did I forget this? Oh, I packed it away with all my summer wardrobe bits. But yeah, right. That is actually me completely done now with what I've made in recent times. I hope you've enjoyed my vid uh, video. If you like my vlogs, please subscribe and have a look back at my channel and have a look and a bit of a gander at my previous vlogs. Right, until next time, have a fabulous day and the sun is finally arriving here in the UK so we're finally getting a feel of for the summer and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!